If there's any anime out there that can be considered a breaking dam of a gateway anime for some people, it's Fruits Basket. If you've never seen it or read it, you've at least heard about it because it is that popular. Now, I fell into the, the latter category. Before deciding to do this review, I had never seen Fruits Basket, and to this day, I still haven't read Fruits Basket, but there was always one thing about the entirety of Fruits Basket, because I love saying Fruits Basket, that always perplexed me. And that is that no one has ever really said anything bad about it. And I mean, no, no, no. Well, some people have said things about it because it's just like, ah, oh, this is a girl show and no manly man would ever watch something like this. But that's just the genre. That's, that's not really saying that it's bad. It's just saying you personally don't like it. But it's like, there's nothing bad about it? Ah, I, I didn't really buy that. So when I turned this on, I was full well ready, like with a sniper rifle, to like bury this thing into the ground. So, uh, yeah, let me tell you how I did. The story of Fruits Basket is about a young girl named Toru Honda. Due to the passing away of her mother several months previous and various other family issues, she now resides inside of a tent in the woods so that she will quote unquote not bother anyone. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look upon it, she then stumbles upon the house of three members of the Soma household, one of which being her classmate, Yuki Soma. Now, because Yuki is such a kind so there we go. He and his older cousin Shigure politely invite Toru to come and live with them in their house rather than in their woods. Then if you add the quickfire rebel Kyosoma into the mix, we get this entire ball rolling. If I was to compare the plot of Fruits Basket to anything, I'd say that it really is like the touched by an angel of anime. Every episode is different by taking a new person, usually a member of the Soma family, who has a problem introducing them into the story with the characters, and then through happenstance having Toru say something profound, and then suddenly everything is solved, more or less, until the next episode where there's a new person, a new problem, something newly profoundly said, and so on and so forth. And this sounds like a really serious, well, semi-serious sounding plot, doesn't it? But there's only um, one thing that kind of doesn't make it serious that much. Observe. Oh, wait, stop, don't fight her! Ah. Ah. I'm so sorry, are you all right? I, I turned him into a cat, I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime a member of the Soma family is hugged by a member of the opposite gender, uh, they transform into one of the animals of the zodiac. Because, <laughs> because you know, you know, you know, you can't have a completely serious anime the entire show, right? No, no, it's just not possible. Of course not. <sighs> but to be fair, it's not every member of the Soma family. There's only 13 members that actually transform. One for each animal of the zodiac, plus the cat for lols. And the problem with that is that those 13 members are the only members of the Soma family that Toru meets 90% of the time. So it makes for much hilarity and other things that make absolutely no mathematical or logical sense because for whatever reason, every time Toru meets one of these Soma family members, something happens unexpectedly. And of course they transform. And oh God, <laughs> let, 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 me, let me give you an example that makes no, no sense here. He's closed. Maybe no one will notice. It doesn't matter. Anything to cover him up. Kyo! Catch this, Kyo! <laughs> uh, why is this so heavy? <laughs> huh? Like, how do you do that? How do you... The, 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 the gravity and the laws of physics do not apply to Fruits Basket, apparently. Because you just can't do that. It's just... <sighs> okay, moving on. Now, in Fruits Basket's defense, they never truly rely on these transformations to keep the plot rolling. It's a nice added bonus, I grant you, but it is never the focus. What is the focus is character interaction, without which Fruits Basket would be like a pizza made completely out of crust. 
if you get the picture I'm trying to paint here. To not mention a lot of these would be an injustice to them. So to sum up basically, when two characters are on the screen, there's going to be an interaction. It doesn't matter who it is, whether it's main character supporting or just some random person that's in the shot. There's going to be something that happens. And it's like you never know when or who's going to start it. But it's like when it happens, you're enjoying yourself immensely. And that's one of the good things about the show. <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> Stupid cat. Damn rat. Now when I say that this show is garnered for people of the female variety, I really do mean it. There are ample amounts of cuteness and man service to bring glee to pretty much every girl otaku out there. Now, does this mean that guys won't enjoy it? No, not at all. Uh, you just may be um, laughed at by some of your more manly friends, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to enjoy it. But there are some parts where you just have to... Who's in the forest strolling? No, the no, stop. Momiji, Momiji, stop. Please. The Momiji. In the pond are no. Calling. Who's in the forest Not you too, Toru. Please stop. The ah, in the mute. 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 Who's in the forest it's working. Mute. I've got to think of manly, 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 manly. Ah, dun 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I hate this show. I hate it. I hate you. I hate it. I hate it. You know why? The opening. Yeah, there you go. The opening. This opening is one of the most boringest openings I have ever had to sit through. It is just slow and uninteresting and like, ugh. Words cannot describe this opening, because it is just bland as all hell. I will give props to the English dub people for making an English version of it to go along, but even that, it helps, but it doesn't make it any better. But I respect you guys anyway. Speaking about the dub, yeah, I think it's better than the sub for Fruits Basket. It's just that there's nothing wrong with it. Like, it's totally enjoyable as is. There's no annoying characters, no stupid superfluous... Dilly dally shilly shally. Yeah, that. That. And it's just... <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Now, it's a, it's a little bit of an older dub, so some of their pronunciations are off, but most of you probably aren't going to notice that anyway. So, dub beats up. Uh, just a couple more things to talk about. Uh, first of all... Uh, buy, rent, or stream. First of all, you can't stream this. Like, I know it's owned by Funimation, but at the time of making this video, they have yet to put it up on their website, so you can't stream it. Now, even though I really said that I wanted to shoot this thing into the ground, I recommend buying it. It's just one of those shows that you just have to own. But, however, there's one thing that I have to warn you about. If you can, if you can, if you're going to buy it, don't buy the Viridian Collection. With this little symbol here. For one reason, I know it's supposed to be more ecological and whatever thing they actually said the Viridian Collection is supposed to be for. But this case, this box, I'm not counting these. These are perfectly fine and they're thin too, so it's awesome. But I'm talking about this case is the most flimsiest thing ever. Like, I barely use this thing. I, I have it on my shelf and the corners are starting to go and I've only owned this for about like two weeks. So it's like, wow. I also own a copy of uh, Canon 2006. And even though that's not technically Viridian Collection, it's the same thing. And that is starting to, like, crinkle and break. So, just a warning out there. If you're going to try and get it, see if you can get the older copies of it. But if not, that's fine. It's still a great series to show and to own. Now, as I said, your more manlier friends, if you're a guy, will probably tell you, what the hell are you watching this show before? But just ignore them. And I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, there's also one more thing that you should be knowing about. Throughout the middle and the end of this show, it gets not so 
fun lovey and happy it gets really kind of sad a lot of times just so you know it's kind of a big thing stay frosty Credits, right, credits. No, not so good. <laughs> Who's in the forest trolling? The birds and the bees sing me. <laughs> the frogs and the garbage. Mommy, yes. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, like there's this part in the middle where you learn about Momiji's past and it's like spoiler, 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 and more spoilers, and it's a really big thing, but it's like sad as all hell. <laughs> I didn't cry then, and I'm not crying now. Cause I'm, I'm manlier than that, but like, wow, that just came out of that field. It was just like, let's, let's be happy and fun, Toru, and then BOOM, sadness. Oh, I can't take this shit anymore, I'm supposed to do canon next week. Oh god, that's not gonna happen. I need an action flick. <laughs> buy, rent, or stream. First of all, you can't stream this. Like, Funimation owns it, but as of the making of this video, they have yet to put it on their stream portal. <laughs> I just said stream portal. Wow, I work on the website way too fucking much. Okay.